الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to the final episode of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in the battlefield right here in this very location a great and a big and important battle took place the battle of Uhud in this very location mountain of Uhud right here it took place so we discussed all the details or most of the details of what happened and now it's time to look back and reflect and, and learn some lessons well lesson number one the Prophet وسلم, taught and practiced he taught his ummah and he practiced himself the value and the principle of shura counseling how to not just trust your mind and trust your view and opinion and that's it but rather seek and consult um, uh, views of others as well that gives strength to the decision at the end he practice it let's practice it in our house with our spouses with our kids with everybody around us this is something that he did sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he, even though the view that he got from those young sahaba was actually not the best he never regretted it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah he said after the ayah was revealed after the battle of uhud ended and it was clear that they gave a wrong opinion and they lost at the end but allah said fa'fu anhum forgive them astaghfir lahum ask forgiveness for them washawirhum fil amr but still continue to seek consultation and views and opinions from them fa'idha azamta fatawakkal ala allah but when you decide and decision is made proceed on shura is not for consultation is not meant so we keep going back and forth and not making a decision at all no we should seek proper consultation and opinions from everybody and then a decision should be made based on that that's something very important we learn from this battle we learn also how the prophet ﷺ was leader in all aspects as a military leader he chose the location strategically and he followed all the proper causes to win the battle and they won the battle they won in no time they were winning it was only when those archers may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them sahaba they broke the order of the Prophet وسلم, they started losing so they disobeyed Allah they disobeyed the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam they started suffering and they had to see the consequences of that one very important lesson that we learned is the mercy you're talking about a battlefield and you're talking about mercy yes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said a beautiful comment in the middle after he almost after the end of the battle he said oh Allah forgive my people he's still calling them his people because they don't know he is asking forgiveness for those enemies who came and fought against him just because they lack knowledge and he said they don't know so oh God forgive them we learn that it's important to sacrifice and stand up for your values and principles that's what the Sahaba do even though they had to sacrifice and they had to you know end up you know offering some really um, uh, import, sometimes they had to lose their life but they did it and they, and they made it all for the sake of Allah and for Islam to be established and subhanallah this is a very important lesson that we learned in there one of the most important lessons is we learn that you when you go with the orders of Allah the commandments of Allah when you are when you align your life with that you will be always winning you will be always going the right direction the minute you start breaking you expect some setbacks in there you expect some turning points in the life let's come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we'll be always winning come back as an ummah come back as individuals come back as families and align ourselves with the Quran Quran is still clear the same Quran that guided those Sahaba Allah alayhi, may Allah be peace with them is still present it's the same Quran let's align ourselves behind it so we never lose we always become victorious as Allah wa ta'ala I ask Allah Azza wa Jalla the majestic the exalted to gather us with the shuhada al kiram gather us with the mortars with Hamza radiallahu anhu to gather us with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make us live our life being totally aligned behind him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam totally aligned behind the principles of the Quran implementing that in our life and enjoying life in the obedience of Allah tabarakallahu wa ta'ala Jazakumullahu khairan. It was such a wonderful experience to be with you and to live with you. Those snapshots from the Battle of Uhud. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us in Al-Jannah. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.